use summation notation to write the sum of a geometric series. I have two geometric series. Every time you see a geometric series, the first thing is you find the common ratio, the R. So common ratio. How do you find the common ratio? You take the next term divided by the current term. So R is equals to 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.1. That is equals to 4. And then to make sure, I will try a few more pairs. I will try that 1.6 divided by 0 0.4. And then that is also equals to 4. And then let me just move this over to save myself a little bit of space. So the common ratio is equals to 4. And then what is the first term? Very clearly that the first term is equals to 0 0.1. And then they asked me to use the summation notation, right? So to get the summation notation, I have to find out the pattern. And then I also need to know how many terms are there, right? So because we go from 0 0.1 and then all the way to 102.4, I don't want to try the numbers out one by one. That is going to take forever. So I will just use a different method to get it. So from 0.1 to 102.4, how many numbers are there? I use a dot 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 to skip all of them. So you need to find out because in order to find the sum, you need to tell me the sum of how many numbers, how many numbers are in this expression you don't know we will have to find out so first of all i am going to recall the nth term so we call that a n is equals to a1 times r and then raised to n minus one notice that if this is not a one if this is a two then this is a n minus two okay let's plug in what we know to find, uh, we know the nth term, so that is a 102.4, and then the first term is equals to 0 0.1, the common ratio is equals to 4, but n we don't know, so we keep that as n minus 1, because we don't know how many terms are in this geometric series. Okay, so we take uh, 102.4 divided by 0 0.1, so 102.4 divided by 0 0.1, and then that is a 4, to the n minus 1, this is a uh, 1024 equals to 4 to the n minus 1, which is 4n divided by 4 to the first, right? And then you multiply both sides by 4, you get 40, 96, and then raised to 4n. Ah, uh, you know what? This one you will have to try. So this one, in order to solve for n, you have to try n equals to 0, n equals to 1, n equals to 2, n equals to 3. So you have to try n equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, and then you keep on trying. And then as you try, you will see that n is equals to 6 terms total. And then this method is called trial and error. So trial and error. And then now we got the n, and then I can write my final answer. So this is a summation. n goes from 1, and then all the way to 6, there are 6 terms, and then the first term is 0 0.1, the common ratio is equals to 4, and then you have an n minus 1. And then that is the final answer. So this is the final answer. All right, how about the next problem in orange? So the next problem in orange, I will find the common ratio. So the common ratio is 24 divided by 32. Let's simplify that. That is equals to 3 over 4. To make myself safer, I will try one more pair. 18 divided by 24. Yes, that is also equals to 3 over 4. Okay, so the first term, 81, is equals to 32. And then I have to find the nth term. So the nth term is equals to 81 and then times r to the n minus 1. I know the, tenth, the nth term is 10.125. 81 is equals to 32. And then r times n minus 1. We know the common ratio. The common ratio is 3 over 4. And then you have n minus 1. All right, uh, what is the n represent? The n represent that I have dot, dot, dot. I use dot, dot, dot to skip many, many terms. And I want to find out how many terms are in this uh, geometric series. So first of all, you divide both sides by 32, 1, 2, 5, divided by 32. And then the other side, you have 3 over 4 raised to the n minus 1. Okay, this divided by 32, uh, you are going to get a decimal. So you are going to get a decimal. So you, in your calculator, you type 10.125 divided by 32, you press enter, and then you get a decimal. Do not approximate. 
Okay, do not approximate. Next step is hit the math key. I talk about that in, in, in the previous video. Hit the math key in your graphing calculator. And then you, do you see that there is a FRAC and then an arrow? Click that, click enter, FRAC. So that should put the answer, ANS, and then FRAC. And then you will put the answer back to a fraction, which is 81 divided by 256 equals to 3 over 4 divided by a minus 1. The numbers are so nice because a over 81 over 256 is 3 over 4 and then raised to the fourth power. And then on the other side, you also have a same base and then a minus 1. So as a result, you have 4 equals to a minus 1 and then n is equals to 5 terms. And then now I can write the final answer. So the final answer is from n equals to 0 to 5. And then you have 32. Oh, actually, you know what? It's from 1 to 5, right? So it's from 1, 1 to 5. Oh, ha. Huh. Here, 3, 32, and then 3 over 4 to the a minus 1. There is a a minus 1 power. So there is a a minus 1 power from 0 to 5. So that will be a 6 term. So therefore, we will uh, have to change the zero to a one here, this zero. I, I, decide, I would like to do this in, in a different color. I am going to change this zero. Let's, let's do it in, in, in uh, yellow. Erase that and then change that to a one. Do you know why? When n is equal to zero, what happened in here? You have a zero minus one equals to negative one. So we will have a negative exponent that is not going to work. Plus, if you have if you go from zero to five, that is six terms, not five terms. So we have to let n starts at one, and then that will be a n minus one. So when n is equals to one, we have a zero power. So that means the first term gives you a thirty-two. When n is equals to two, so this becomes a second power. Thirty-two times three over four, then you get a twenty-four, and then that you do do the same thing. N equals to three, you will get eighteen and so on and so forth and then by 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 the way so for uh so for for that math so what you have to do is you take 10.125 and then divide it by 32 and then you should have zero point something 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 right zero point something something and then you hit the math key and then in the, the very first item in that menu is frac frac is for you to convert a decimal back to a fraction that is extremely convenient in this problem. All right, so this is the end of this problem. If this you like the way I explain using summation notation to write the sum of a geometric series, give this video a thumbs up, share the video if you wish, so more and more people knows this channel exists. If this is something you like to see, give the channel a subscribe. Trust me, it is worthwhile coming back to visit more math lesson. As always, I will meet you all in a future videos. Signing out.